Hi everyone, it's Georgie here from Her Hair My Head. Um, I've come on today to talk to you about this human hair topper from Uniwigs. Um, so recently Uniwigs have brought out a couple of, um, they call them skin bases. So I've reviewed the other one which is called the Aura topper which had um, essentially just a parting that was a skin base and then the rest of the topper has wefts um, which is so flat it literally sits flat to your head um, but the hair that they used for that topper had a natural wave to it and I found that it looked a bit bottom heavy because it was so flat on the top and then it kind of was curly down here so you can see my other review now they've brought out this piece which is called Jayla um J-A-Y-L-A -A, and she is seven inches across by nine inches um, back cap and the whole of her is this uh, skin top so there's no wefting at all so you can literally part the hair anywhere um, and it will be a natural looking parting and again this topper is probably one of the flattest toppers that I've tried now I haven't washed this piece yet, so I don't know how the hair is going to dry. Normally, the human hair from Uniwigs dries straight with a tiny, tiny wave, whereas the Aura piece very specifically had uh, a sort of natural curl, not quite a curl, a natural wave to it. So this has been straightened. This is how it came straight out of the box. But as you can see, the hair is very straight. I haven't done anything to it yet. Um, so... When you get, um, for example, a lace front piece, you quite often have to cut the lace. Now with this, um, because it the base is essentially like a kind of plastic PU material, and there's about half an inch at the hairline that you're gonna need to cut. Um, so I'm just gonna show you, I haven't cut it yet. Um, the other thing, again, as with, um, lace fronts you might need to glue this down so i will show you in a short video how i'm going to cut obviously it's slightly this is my hairline so this bit of plastic you need to cut back up to the hairline so i will show you wow that's really uh, sticky i'll show you how to do that um so the, let's for now oh my goodness what's going on uh let's talk a bit about Jayla um and then I'll do uh, a separate video that shows you how to um cut back this plastic and then I'm also going to do a video about gluing this down so this type of base in the past has been used for people that have it stuck onto their head so quite often with men uh, men's toppers they will have an area of their head shaved they will use super duper strong glue it gets stuck onto your head and it lasts for a number of weeks now you can do that with this type of topper uh, but obviously if you have hair they have to shave the bit of hair that it's going to stick onto because you see so you, you wouldn't stick it onto longer hair it has to be shaved um but if you're someone like me who doesn't want to shave their hair, uh, but probably does need to stick it down at the front, I'm going to use a uh, wig tape which is along this front hairline to glue it down. And I will do a video to show you how to do that. You can also use an actual sort of adhesive glue. And there's also got to be spray that you can use. So I will do a video just talking about those different options and how you put that on and install it and how you take it off. This piece has got clips. It's got two clips here and one clip at the back um, and nothing at the front. So really, you're probably going to want to stick it down, although it does feel quite secure. Um, so I've, as you can see, I've moved the hair into a bit of a side parting. My only um, slight issue with this piece at the moment is the hair 
naturally falls forward, which you get quite often with silk tops, but particularly with this, I mean, if I take it out of the side parting and put it in a centre parting, it's a bit kind of cousin it, it just, it just wants to fall forward. But as I said, I haven't blow dried it yet. So I imagine if I blow dry it back, um, that won't be quite as bad. So this piece is 16 inches. I'm just going to try and show you the fringe bit. It's got, let's put this behind my ears. It has got a very long sort of shorter area at the front. So this main length is 16 inches and then it's got this kind of long fringe, which I'm assuming that you're supposed to have in a center parting like that. Um, I do not look good with the center parting, so I have just been sweeping it to the side, um, which I quite like it to the side. I possibly would cut in a fringe, a really light fringe, especially because of this falling forward problem, because the hair actually sits quite na nicely and naturally with a light fringe. So that potentially is gonna be an option. I'm just gonna clip this back. These, these came with the hairpiece and they're really useful and really grippy. So as you can see that this is the plastic. I'm gonna take it off so you have a look at the base. I definitely, if I was gonna be wearing this all day, I would definitely need, because it's only got three clips, I need more security at the front. So you could, um, sew in more clips but i think the idea with this material is that you can also use tape or glue so you can see there where the hairline is so this is what you're going to need to cut um i'm also i'm going to start wearing this regularly to see so it's very comfortable this is a very soft plastic it's very light but i don't think it's hugely breathable now, because it's so light, um, it's not sort of really sort of heavy and suffocating on your head, but I'm quite a sweaty person. So I'm quite curious to find out if this makes me sweaty. So I actually might do a test tonight and wear it to my exercise class and see if having the plastic makes my head extra sweaty because that is quite a big factor for me. But in terms of how light it is, and how much coverage it's got, I'm really impressed with, um, you know, it's got a good amount of coverage and a good amount of hair, but it feels really light and it's so flat. I mean, as you can see, I don't have any volume to my hair here. So I'm used to like no volume. And this just, it's just really flat. Um, so if you're someone who wants very, very natural looking hair, this is great. Um, and it has got quite a good amount of hair here. It, I feel like they've solved the problem that I had with the Aura Topper where it just looked like too flat and then too volumey. Whereas this um, would help if I didn't kick my uh, ring light. This has a really nice amount of volume. So. As I said before, this length is 16 inches. I think it also comes in 14 inches. And then it's got this sort of long fringe that you can tuck out the way or have, you could probably have sort of a nice curtain fringe. Um, this color, it looks from what I can see from where I'm filming, it looks like a really dark brown in this video, but it's actually a medium brown and it's a very warm medium brown. Um, which I like, um, and I'll show you the back. I haven't done the clips up. That's the back. So yeah, my first um, impressions are really good actually. Um, and I literally can't feel that I've got it on it's just it's light and I think that's really important for a lot of people that you can't feel that you're wearing a topper and you just forget about it um so yeah I I feel like if you didn't um 
attach it more securely at the front, it might slip a bit. That being said, the plastic material, I haven't done the clips up, I was just seeing how much it moved. The plastic is a bit more grippy than uh, other sort of topper um, bases. But yeah, this is a really affordable option. So I, what I would say with uni wigs is often their human hair pieces are significantly cheaper than other brands. And I would say that the hair quality is good, but it's not luxury like, for example, my range or some of the other big brands. Um, so it will get split ends more quickly um, and it might not last as long, but it's not rubbish quality. It's just you, you get what you pay for. So it's a more budget option and the the hair is good quality. I've just found with my uni wigs pieces that you do get a few more split ends and a bit more breakage. But as long as you look after the hair, it should still last you a good amount of time. Um, and yeah, it's a really nice, affordable option. Um, I find that uni wigs pieces do wash well. It's not like it looks fabulous and then you wash it and it's all matted. They wash nicely. Um, I've got quite a few pieces from them and they've lasted me a good amount of time. Um, so yeah, overall, nice piece feels low density, feels light and um, a slightly different option, especially for people like me who don't have much of a hairline. This could be uh, a good option for someone who thinks they might need a lace front, but they don't really like lace fronts and find them a bit fiddly. The plastic feels quite durable. It's not like a lace front where you have to be really, really careful with it. Um, yeah, so a couple more videos coming up from me soon. Hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching. And as per usual, all the information will be in the comments. Thank you.